Hi everyone, this is Norma with all my crochet and today I have a poncho, a crocheted poncho that will fit any 18 inch doll or an American Girl doll. So this pattern is a very easy and simple um, pattern to do. Um, I had gotten a request to do a poncho and I thought this was something that's fast and easy so I can do this right away. I do have some crochet tutorials coming and at the end of this video stay tuned I will show you what I've been working on getting the pattern together and I will be recording it soon. So anyway let's get started with these ponchos again they're very easy and simple this is the first one that I made here this one has some fringe on it right there as you can see and there's the stitches it's just a cluster of three half double crochets basically or I'm sorry three double crochets here's another one that I made you can see the stitches on this one and then the border on this one is different this I put fringe on this one these are some love knots now you don't necessarily have to do that it's all up to you I will show you how to do both if you want to do the fringe or if you prefer to do this and then here's the other one this is on a patterned yarn and it has the love knots on this one as well and very easy to do so let's get started on making this let me show you the materials we'll be using today I'm using this yarn from Dollar Tree it's the premier just yarn worsted weight yarn it's a size number four medium weight yarn and we will be using a crochet hook size J 6.0 and to start with we are going to need a chain of 30 which I've already done here for you okay so once you've done your chain of 30 you want to make sure that this chain is not twisted or anything okay and we're going to do a slip stitch to the very first uh, stitch right here so all we're going to do is insert the hook right there bring up the yarn here and do a slip stitch pull through that and then pull through this one and that created a slip stitch okay so now we have a, a, a ring here so now what we're going to do is in every stitch going all the way around we're going to do a single crochet so to do that all you're going to do is in that first stitch where you did the slit stitch right there you're going to insert your hook there yarn over pull up a loop yarn over and pull through both loops and that creates your first single crochet so now we're going to go into the next stitch right here okay insert your hook yarn over pull up a loop yarn over and pull through both that's our second single crochet so again we're going to go into the next stitch right here insert the hook yarn over pull up a loop yarn over and pull through both and that's creating the single crochet so that's what we're going to do all the way around we're going to do a single crochet and at the end you should still have a total of 30 single crochets okay so I'm going to continue to do this and I will see you at the end here so I've completed my last single crochet there and all we're going to do now is slip stitch to that first single crochet right there that we started and do a slip stitch right there okay so this is what we have okay now we're going to do a chain two and this chain two is going to count as a double crochet I'm not doing a chain three I'm doing a chain two because sometimes I don't like to have that extra chain and I prefer sometimes just to do a chain two so this chain two is counting as a double crochet now in that same stitch right here where this opening is right here we're going to work two more double crochets in there okay so to work the double crochet you're going to yarn over insert the hook into that stitch right there yarn over pull up a loop yarn over pull through two yarn over and pull through two and that created a double crochet so we're going to do another one yarn over insert the hook pull up a loop yarn over pull through two yarn over and pull through two so now we have a total of three double crochets there now we're going to do a chain of two one two and in that same stitch right there we're going to work three more double crochets so one, two, 
and three. Okay, so that's what we have right there. It's like a shell of three double crochets, chain two and three double crochets. Now we're gonna skip two stitches. Okay, so we're skipping one, skipping two, and in the next stitch right here, we're gonna work three double crochets all into that same stitch. Two and three. Okay. Now we're gonna skip two stitches, one, two, and in that next stitch, in that third stitch, we're gonna work again three double crochets all into that same stitch. Again, skip two, one, two, and in that third stitch, we're gonna work three double crochets into the same stitch. Okay. Again, skip two stitches in that third one, work three double crochets all into that same stitch. Okay. So this is what we have so far. This is going to be the front of the poncho. Okay. Now we're going to skip two stitches and in that third one, we're going to work that shell of three double crochets, chain two and three double crochets. So this is two, three, all into the same stitch, chain two, one, two, and then in the same stitch there, you're going to work again, three double crochets, one, two, and three. It's all into that same stitch. You're working another shell right here. Okay. So you have a shell on this end. This is the back end. And then this is the front end. So that's how you have your shells right there. So those are the two spots that we're only doing the three double crochets, chain two and three double crochets is in the front one and in the back one. The rest of them, we're just doing three double crochets in each stitch. Okay. So now we're going to move on to the other side right here. Okay. So now we're going to skip two, one, two. And in that third one, we're going to work a cluster of three double crochets into the same stitch. Skip two, one, two, and then work three double crochets into the same stitch. Okay, there's no chain between these shells or between these stitches. There is no chain at all in between any of them. The only places you're gonna have the chain is in this shell in the beginning and at the end. Okay, so again, we just completed our three double crochets there. So now we're going to skip one, two, and in that third one, we're going to work again three double crochets all into the same stitch. Okay, one, two, and in that third one right there, we're going to work again three double crochets into the same stitch. Okay, so now we have two here, left two chains, which is fine. That's what we want. And then we're going to do a slip stitch to the top of that second chain right here. So you have one, two. So in that second stitch right here where we did the chain two, you're going to do a slip stitch right there to end this row here. And just let me show you what we have here. So this is the beginning of the poncho. So here we have the front, which has the shell here three double crochets, chain two, and three double crochets. So that's the front, and then on the other side, it's the same thing. Three double crochets, chain two, three double crochets. So in between those shells, all we have is three double crochets, and we have four of them. Okay, so this is the beginning shell. We have one, two, three, four. Four of them that are just three double crochets all together in the same stitch on this side, and then on this side, there's four as well. And as we go along the poncho, it's going to increase on each side one, okay? So let's continue on. This is uh, going to be row number three. So we just completed row number two. 
what we're going to do is slip stitch to the center of this chain two right there. So we're going to just do slip stitches. Now, if you wanted to change colors, you can definitely do that. It's all up to you. And then we're going to do a slip stitch right here in the center chain here. Okay. And then we're going to do a chain of two, which is counting as your double crochet. Then we're going to do two more double crochets in here. So we have a total of three double crochets. Chain two, one, two. And then in the same space here, we're going to do three double crochets. One, two, and three. So this is what we're going to do throughout the pattern. So when you have that shell in the front, you're going to do this. Three double crochets, chain two, three double crochets. You're going to do the same thing to the shell in the back. Three double crochets, chain two, three double crochets. Okay, so now we're going to move along the sides here. So we're going to go to this opening right here, this space between these shells right here. In this space, you're going to work three double crochets just right there in that space. All three in the same spot. Two and three. Okay. So now we're going to jump over to this space and we're going to work again three double crochets into that space. Two and three. Jump over to the next spot and we're going to work three double crochets. So this is what we're going to do throughout the pattern. Very easy, very simple to do. If you know how to do single crochet, double crochets, you can definitely make this. Jump to the next space here and we're going to work three double crochets all into the same spot. Okay. Oops, I'm losing my work here. Next space right here, this is the other shell. So right here in that space, we're going to work three double crochets into the same spot. Okay, so that's what we have. Now in this space right here, we're going to work the shell again, which is three double crochets, chain two, and three double crochets right here. So let's do that. One two and three. I got to pull some more yarn out here. Okay, so I got my three. So I'm going to do a chain of two, one, two, and then again, three double crochets all into that same space. Okay, so there's our shell. Now we're going to move on to the side here between these shells here, or these three double crochets here in that space we're going to work three double crochets one two and three and then we're going to do that to each of these spaces here you're going to work three double crochets okay so i'm going to do that and i will see you at the end of this row so I'm here at the end of row three and I finished my last three double crochets right here. And all we're going to do is slip stitch to that top of the second chain right there. So one, two, and do a slip stitch right there to close row number two. And let me show you what this is looking like. There you go. So this is row number two. That's the front and then the back. Or this is the front or back, whichever way, but you have two points, one here in the front and one in the back. Okay. Now, again, this is the shell here. Now, when we first started, the sides here had four, one, two, three, four. So now we have five, one, two, three, four, five. And on this side, you should have the same thing. Okay. After the shells here, one, two, three, four, and five. Okay. So this is how we're going to grow this poncho is every row is going to increase by one on each end. And it's very, very simple. Again, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to start row number four. We're going to slip stitch to the center right here. So we're going to slip stitch right here. Slip stitch again and then slip stitch to the center. Chain two, one, two. 
counts as a double crochet. Then in this same space here, we're going to do two more double crochets. So we have a total of three. Chain two, one, two. And then again, work three double crochets all into that same space. And this is forming, uh, forming that front shell or that front point right there of the poncho. Okay, so now we're going to move over to this opening right here to the space between these double crochet, these three uh, double crochets here on each end. And in that space, again, we're going to work three double crochets. One, two, and three. Move over here in that space and work again three double crochets. So this is what we're going to repeat and we're going to do this until we have a total of six of these shells. I'm not including this, okay? So I guess it's a total of seven rows. So right now we're working on row number uh, four. One, two, three, four. So you're going to do this until you get to row number seven. You're going to repeat this whole thing that we've been doing. So on the sides here, it's three double crochets. Move over to the next spot, three double crochets. Move over, three double crochets. And move over, this is the last one for this side, and three double crochets. So now we've come to the shell here, right here, in that center space, you're going to work the three double crochets, chain two, and three double crochets, all into that same space. This is forming that shell for the back of the poncho. Okay, so I got three. Oops, I got two here. See, even I make mistakes. So I got to go back and do one more here. So I did two and we need three. Chain two and then three double crochets. One, two, and three. Okay, so that's the shell for the front or the back. And then we're going to repeat over here, three double crochets. So this is what we're going to do um, all the way, like I said, through round number seven. And I'm going to continue to do this, and then I will meet you at the end of round number seven. Okay? Very easy pattern. And I'll show you how we're going to do the, uh, the edging or if you want to add the fringe. Let me just show you what it's looking like right here okay I'll see you at the end of row number seven so I've completed my last round number seven I'm at the end here and again we're just going to slip stitch to that top of that second chain and we're done with our poncho let me show you what it's looking like okay now, you can leave it like this. You can add one more row if you don't want to do any type of uh, trim on the end. Um, you can leave it like this. That's totally up to you. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to do the love knot trim on the poncho. Okay, so to do that, you're going to slip stitch again to this center space right there, that chain two. We're going to slip stitch right there, right there, and right here. Okay. We're going to do a chain one and a single crochet right there in that spot. Okay, So now to do the love knot, and I've showed you guys how to do this in the wedding dress tutorial, but I'm going to show you again. Okay, So we did a single crochet right there in that chain two space. So you're going to lift your crochet hook up Okay, just a little bit. It's going to lift it up so that you have some yarn like that. And you're going to yarn over. And what I like to do is I like to pinch right here between these right here, pinch. Then you're gonna pull the yarn through the loop, okay? Then you're gonna insert your hook. You have this opening right here, okay? And you're holding it here, so you're pinching there, okay? So you're gonna insert your hook right into that center circle. 
and you're going to yarn over, pull up a loop. You have two on your hook. Yarn over and pull through both loops, and it gives you a love knot. Okay, so we're going to do two of these. So again, you're going to pull up your loop, yarn over. I like to pinch right here between these right here. Pinch. Pull through in this opening right here. You're going to insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop. You have two on your hook, yarn over, and pull through both loops. And that's our second love knot right there. That's what it looks like. Okay. So now we're going to go to this space right here. And you're going to do a single crochet. So to do that, let me start over here. So to do that, you're going to insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, and pull through both loops. So it gives you a single crochet right there. So that's what the edge looks like. So again, we're going to repeat the love knots all the way around. So let me explain again. Lift up the hook, yarn over, pinch right here between. You're going to pull through, okay, right here in that center circle, okay. You're going to yarn over, pull up the loop, yarn over, and you're going to pull through both. And that gives you a love knot. Let's try that again. Lift up the hook. Yarn over, pinch right here, pull through, right here in that opening, insert the hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, and pull through both. And that's our second love knot. So now in this next space, we're going to do a single crochet. So that's what we've done. That's how the edge looks. Like, again, if... You think this is too difficult you don't have to do it you can do another round of what we did previously or you can leave it as is try it on your doll see what you think but I think these little love knots are, are really cool so again lift up the hook yarn over you're gonna pinch right here between these uh, stitches right there pull through insert the hook in that circle yarn over Pull up a loop, you have two on your hook, yarn over and pull through both. And that gives you a love knot. Lift your hook up, yarn over, pinch right here, pull through, insert the hook right here in that center opening, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two. Okay, so again, then we're going to go to the next space. And we're going to do a single crochet. So we do two love knots. And then we do the single crochet. So we're going to two two more love knots and then a single crochet in there. So this is how you work that type of edging. Now again, if you don't want to do that and you want to do the fringe, that's okay. So this one here, I didn't complete all of the fringe here just so I could show you. So you can cut these as long as you want them. I cut these about four inches. So you can do whatever you want. So all I did is I took three strands at one time, okay, and I folded them. Then I took them, and from the top, I just insert right here, okay. Then you want to grab the three right here like that, and then take this end and put it, take all of these ends here and put it through this loop right here. You're going to push them all through there. Make sure they all go through. And then once you have them, you're going to take these little strands right here and you're going to pull on it. And there you go. Okay, so let's do that again. I'm taking three strands, folding it in half. And I'm going from the top and I'm inserting right here putting my finger right through those hoops so it's easier for me to grab these and put them through this hoop right here and then pull and tug and then you got your fringe so you can do it this way you can do it any way that you want if you want to do the love knots this is love knots here and this one is love knots here so I'm gonna complete the love knots on this one and I'll show you what the final uh, poncho looks like once I'm done with these 
So I'm here at the end. I did my last two love knots right here. And to close this, right here where we started that single crochet, all you're going to do is a slip stitch right there in that single crochet. And you're done. And then do a chain just to tug. And poncho is complete. And this is what it's looking like right here. Again, try it on your doll. See how it fits. If you need another row or two, that's totally up to you. But I think this is perfectly fine the way it is. This is the front. And then this is the back. That's what it's looking like. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Please let me know what you guys think about this poncho. I try to make it as easy as possible for you guys, especially for beginners, because I know I have a lot of beginners who say that my videos are very good. And, you know, um, I'm very happy to hear from you guys. And this is just something that's so simple. Now, if you wanted, you could also add a little flower to there if you wanted. It's totally up to you. So let me bring on what I have been working on it's a sneak peek at a new tutorial that I have and just let me show you it is absolutely beautiful look at this dress don't get intimidated this is not a difficult pattern okay this stitch is called alpine stitch and it's basically um, front post double crochets and double crochets it's going to be very easy to do. I'm going to explain how to make it and very easy. And then look at this trim here. This is a reverse single crochet and it gives a nice effect. It's going to be very easy and I'm going to show you how to make it completely. Okay, that's one. This is another one. Another color that I've been working on right here. Same thing. And then I do have one that's in progress which I'm working on right here. Okay, so I'm still working on it. Okay, but let me show you what else I made. These are some little boots. Now I've gotten a request to make some boots, so this is what I came up with right here. Now you can make it as long as you want. This is how I made it, and I think it came out really, really cute. And here's the other one right here. How cute is that? How cute are these? So I'm gonna do a tutorial on how to make these as well. And of course I made this purse here. And then of course the crown, which I do have a tutorial on already on how to make the purse and the shoes. But I just wanted to show you what I've been working on. So this is all for that. And then here is the purse for this one then this one has the little boots and then of course the crown right here so again I am working on this I'm going to start recording this very soon um, for the dress and for these boots so I hope you guys enjoy please make sure you hit that notification button so that you can get notified when my next tutorial comes out. And again, I want to say thank you to all my subscribers. Thank you for ve being very patient with me. Um, if you guys don't know, I had mentioned in another video that my mom passed away early December. Um, she had been sick and I had been taking care of her for the last five years. And the last two years have been a little bit more rougher on her. Um, and she passed away December 6th. So I had not done anything in a while because just going through the whole mourning process, I'm still mourning, obviously, you know, you never forget your mom and she was very special to me. We were very close and it's just hard to get motivated to do things. Um, but I'm trying my best and I will continue to... Um, try to get some stuff out to you guys and I wanted to start with that poncho I hope you guys enjoyed that tutorial leave me a comment let me know what you think of the poncho and then I will get working on the tutorials for um, this dress here so that's it for today guys thank you and have a great day bye